Hi there guys, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. I take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy new year. Hopefully 2022 is much better than 2021 in most respects. We really wish that this pandemic will pass us very soon and we will get to a more a regular way of life in 2022. I wish you all a very happy new year. Now, an opportunity for one more video for 2021 has presented itself today. And I thought I should take that because mm. I completely forgot to charge my car. And right now I'm at 15% state of charge. Now, uh, ever since I came back from my road trip, and I'm sure you guys have watched my road trip video. If you have not, uh, the video link is in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner. Do watch that. And uh, one feature of that uh, video was I did a uh, speed test or speed of charge or rate of charge test with a V3 supercharger in Toombul, Queensland. And I thought I should probably try and repeat that here with an ultra rapid charger. I do have an ultra rapid charger uh, by ChargeFox here in Shellco. I thought because I have a low state of charge, I must go and test that out and see if I can get 250 kilowatts because in that uh, V3 supercharger test, I got 250 or rather even 251 kilowatts uh, at one point, uh, which was brilliant. And I had gone in at a 25% state of charge to the V3 supercharger. Now, uh, what will be the best way to get a high rate of charge with the ultra rapid chargers? Or we can try that out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, on Berry supercharger. So that will get the battery into pre-conditioning state, I believe. Okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll I'll follow the instructions, and I believe the pre-conditioning of battery should start, uh, which is the message that we got uh, whenever we went towards a supercharger uh, during our road trip. So if pre-conditioning starts and I go to the uh, Charge Fox Shell Co charger, do you reckon I will be able to get maybe 250 or even 350 kilowatts? Uh, from the ultra rapid chargers while um well that's worth a try isn't it so we're going to do just that right now all right here we go we are at 13 percent i did drive around a little bit to get that pre-conditioning going on i must say uh, it only started that pre-conditioning for about five minutes or so and i had to come here let's see how this goes okie dokie that's all started let's see uh, what we're able to get and then we'll jump into the car as well. Yeah, that's gone to 185. Uh, I wonder if it'll go higher. Uh, okay, it's minutes. Time. Yes, yes. Longer, longer range. I have my oh really yeah. so there you go i had to stop at 34 uh, percent there was no point going on but as you saw the secret sauce in uh, tesla superchargers lies in that pre-conditioning i suppose because even with uh, a lower state of charge than 25 percent uh, that i went in with in for my v3 supercharger uh, you know rate of charge test I went in with 13% to this ultra rapid charger, but I still was able to only manage 190 or 191 kilowatts. Whereas on the V3 supercharger, uh, I was able to manage 251 kilowatts as the initial rate of charge. Now I do understand that uh, this dwindles down faster with the ultra rapid charger. Whereas in the, um, I'm so sorry. Uh, I do understand that this dwindles down faster now, I do understand that this dwindles down faster in the V3 supercharger, whereas in the ultra rapid charger, it stays on for a slightly longer period at the 191 or 180 kilowatts or at a higher uh, you know, uh, state of charge uh, than in the V3 supercharger. But even so, um, this is a fascinating test. I'll probably have to revisit this another time uh, with uh, a better state of charge and better pre-conditioning of batteries. Particularly, it'll be great if I can do this in a place where there are two uh, chargers, the V3 supercharger and the ultra rapid charger next to each other. Maybe uh, when, a, when the Gundagai um, supercharger becomes upgraded to V3, I'll probably try this again. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.